Hello, welcome back. In previous video we started working with dates. Basically we created year based on data that we have. In this video we will proceed with that and this time we will be working with months. So let's see how can we get months from our date. Now if I click on this table I can see year in each of these columns and also I'm able to see each of these cities. Now I'm gonna need to change this. Instead of city I would like to see year. So let's do that. Year. And now instead of this column dimension, instead of year, I would like to see each of these months that we have. Now, if I provide this order date, I will not be able to get that. Basically, I can get only each specific day. If I click on date and change it to month, I will be able to do that. But my plan is to create separate field. So let's see how can we do that. Let's go to add a field, add calculated field, and now we need to provide name. Name will be month. Okay, great. And then instead of year function, this time we will be using month. As you can see, this is month function. And now I need to provide my field name. It's order date. Order date. Excellent. Now, as you can see, we don't have any errors. So I can click on save and then done. Now we can see additional field added here. It's month and now we can use it in our table. Instead of order date, let's provide month this time. I'm gonna remove order date and let's see what we get here. Basically, we are able to see each specific year and month for each of these years. Now, what is the issue here? We need to sort values. First, let me sort this year column. Let's scroll down. Let's choose year. Actually, descending is completely fine, so I'm gonna leave descending here. But for this second column, instead of sales, let's use month. And now I'm gonna click ascending. This time, if I resize this, I'm gonna remove this table and I don't need that anymore. So if I resize this table, I will be able to see each of these years and also month belonging to that year. Excellent. Now with this, I'm gonna conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching.